This conference will now be recorded. Yes, anyone, any questions, guys? Any questions regarding Terraform? So yesterday we discussed about how do you configure Terraform? How do you, let's say, go ahead, uh, yes, let's say cancel. How do you go ahead install Azure CLI and all those things out there? So yes, anyone, any questions? Good morning, sir. Uh, go ahead, please. Yes, please unmute yourself and go ahead, please. Good morning, sir. Go ahead, Janan. Go ahead, please. Uh, yesterday, I have login on the VS Code in a PowerShell login. Okay. After login, the PowerShell drew no subscription found. What can I do? Okay, no. No subscription found. Uh, which yes. tenant are you trying to log into? Like when you say yeah, pay as go subscription. Uh, okay, when you say pay as you go subscription, are you trying to log into a particular tenant? Because uh, yes, until sir, and unless sir, uh, hmm? it's showing the same tenant number only in Azure portal, also you log in on same tenant number. Okay. And do you have the tenant under the subscription? Do you already have a tenant there under the subscription? I mean, do you have a subscription under the tenant, sorry? Yes, sir. And is it active? Yes, and same, active. Sure, can you please go ahead, send me the message that you're getting over email so that I can help you out? Okay, okay, I will send. Sure. Yes, anyone, any more questions? Thank you. Yes, no problem. Yes. So features block is there in place so that you can pass in something like a service principle authentication kind of a thing out there. Uh, it's an empty block as of now. You will need to place that feature so that Terraform can do an initialization. As of now, it's an empty block. Even when you are, let's say, working in an organization, you pass it as an empty block out there. But if you want to provide some kind of an authorization, like let's say you need a service principle to be passed inside that and everything, you can pass those things inside the features block out there as such. Sorry? Yes, yes. Yes, any more questions here? So plugins are nothing but uh, module service. Plugins are nothing but modules. Uh, yes, but we'll also understand what that really plugin does out here. Yes, plugins are nothing but modules out there as such. Okay. Fine. Now let's get started. Uh, let me open my VS code and let me open a new window. Sorry, not a new window, new folder. Let me open up the new folder out here and let's start Terraform class 2. So I'll open up a new folder again. The very first thing that I need to do right now is add a file and I'll call this file as today I'll call this file as resources.tf doesn't have to be a main.tf. You can have any kind of a file name out here, saying resources.tf. And I will start with a provider block. Again, how do I get the provider block? Just go to Terraform Azure provider. And let's say you want to create a, a resource group. Firstly, you need a resource group and then you need a, let's say storage account or whatever it is. So let's search for resource group, resource underscore group in Azure. You have this example telling how do you use this? This is a resource group out here. And also in the top, it's telling use the provider out here. Configuration options and all that stuff. So I'll just go back into my template and say control plus space. We'll talk about a provider. And here my provider becomes Azure RM resource manager going into the block I'll say features visioning an empty block out here so now this becomes a provider block out here provider should be declared as AWS if you are working with a cloud called AWS it should be a GCP if you're working with something like GCP out here in our case let's put it back to Azure RM resource manager let's come down and let's now start declaring something called as a resource block out here. And I want to create a 
resource group a simple resource group out here i'll say control space resource i'll say azure rm underscore resource underscore group local name any name out here i'll say local rg something like this or i'll simply put this as rg we'll talk about how do you or where do you use this particular name out here and after that uh, let me go ahead say a couple of properties like the name of the storage or sorry the name of the resource group say demo tf rg and the location wherein i'll put a location called issues 2 this is the location that i'm going ahead and creating out here as such i'll just save and in order to get started with this i'm using a powershell terminal I'll open up the folder in which my templates are created. So let's take the folder. I'll say open the related path. So this is the path in which my uh, let's say templates are placed in. I'll say CD into this particular path. I've done a CD change directory into this particular path out here. And again, if I say ls, I have a resource.tf file inside that particular path as such, which is nothing but this. Into junk, it is something called resources. I have a resource.tf file. In order to get started with Terraform, can anyone help me with the commands? What should I do very firstly? What is the first command of Terraform that I need to execute? Terraform init. Why Terraform init? What should what should Terraform init really do out here? It downloads all the plugins, keeps all the plugins ready. So I'll say Terraform space in it. init. This is telling, okay, fine. I'm initializing the plugins for you. It's going into the backend. And here it's telling plugins initialized successfully. Again, to reconfirm, you can do ls, which is list inside the folder which has now all these three things out here. Just Terraform log.hcl, Terraform something like this. And inside that, if you go here, you have these required plugins. And this is called as an Azure provider plugin out here. It's an exe file. It's an application, meaning it does something. What it does is this. See, whenever you are creating resources on the Azure portal using Terraform, Let's put something out here. You have a resources.tf file. And you are creating a resource group right now, a simple resource out here. And you are trying to deploy these resources.tf file into your Azure portal, into one of the subscriptions of Azure. So trying to deploy this out here. But the issue this issue here is that see the servers of Azure that are listening to this request. They don't understand the language of Terraform. They don't understand or they don't follow a language called HCL. HashiCorp configuration language. They don't understand this particular language, but you're writing your template in this language because a, it is very easy to write when you compare with an ARM template. It's actually very easier. Uh, B, it also has a lot of advantages, modular advantages and all that stuff. We'll talk about that. So you're trying to deploy this particular template, which is in a non-serialized format. What do I mean by a non-serialized format? This is the language which is in a high level language out here. It's a high level language. HashiCorp configuration is a high level language out here, just like your .NET or your Java, C Sharp, whatever language it is. Now, before you take your, let's say .NET and deploy it on a web application, what did we do? What did we do before we, uh, you know, just take the code and deploy it? We'll build the code. We build it out, which means that it changed it from a high level language to a low level language. Same thing. I will have to do the same thing with HCL also. HCL is a high level language. In order to change it in a low level language, which is JSON, your Microsoft server can only understand JSON right now. So your duty is to convert 
this HCL into something known as JSON and that is something and that's the reason you do something known as terraform in it as in when you do a terraform in it what terraform does is that terraform download something called as azure plugins which is nothing but a dot exe file whenever you now talk to azure terraforms convert this hcl firstly into json and then send it across to azure so you are not writing a template, but Terraform EXE is writing a template for you and sending it to Azure out there. So it's simplifying that job for you. But when you compare it with an ARM template, it takes much longer time because ARM template is directly a serialization. You're taking it, deploying it into Azure, not doing anything, very simple. But in HCL, you first have to convert it into a JSON. And then this JSON is being sent to Azure. All these things are done in the background. It's going in the background. You are not able to see that. We'll also look at that as such. That's the reason you download these plugins out here called Terraform EXEs. So that's the reason you need to run something known as Terraform in it to begin with. Let's do one thing. The second command that I need to run, what is it guys after in it? Plan, exactly. I need to do a Terraform plan. Terraform plan right now again. Plan doesn't create anything for me. It just goes ahead and does a comparison. It says, what is there in your Terraform file? What do you desire? Meaning, what do you want to create? This is called as a desired configuration. Versus the existing configuration. It's telling, okay, fine, desired configuration versus existing configuration. Let's see what you desire and let's see whether that exists or not. Now you desire to create in this file, a resource group called demo TFRG in a particular location called East US2. So these are the two things that you are telling. It's going into the Azure portal telling that does it already exists? Uh, it tells, okay, fine, no, not really. So Terraform will tell, okay, fine. Let me go ahead, create this out for you. That's what Terraform planning does. Terraform plan just draws a comparison between your desired configuration versus the existing configuration that is there on the Azure portal. So let's do that. Let's come here and say Terraform planning. And now it will take some time because in the background, uh, your Terraform template has to convert everything into or your Terraform EXE has to convert everything into a JSON structure and then that JSON needs to be given to your Azure portal out there as such. Again, uh, sometimes I've seen this taking a long time, very, very long time out here. See Terraform best works on an Ubuntu systems. All these are very best designed for an Ubuntu operating systems out here. Sometimes I've seen this calls to be really worse, like the last demo I was doing. It took around six or seven minutes to just do the Terraform plan. And I see the same thing happening right now, but yes, it's it's better right now. It's better today, but a couple of, let's say weeks earlier, it was taking a lot of time. But if you see right now, it took around a minute and then it's telling, okay, I will create something. And what will I create? A resource group with this particular name in this particular location. And the plan will do what? One to add, zero to change, zero to destroy. It's telling this is what I will do. I'll say great. And let's look at our Terraform files once again. So I have a resources.tf, I have Terraforms and all that stuff. I'll say great, not a problem. And now I will say the third command, which is Terraform apply, which will go ahead and actually create your resources. So I'll say Terraform apply. Now I'm going ahead and applying this out as such out there. So it's a package Terraform comes with Terraform plan, Terraform in it, Terraform plan and Terraform apply. Three different commands that, you know, Terraform, you know, kind of gives you out there. And uh, you don't have to run an in it every time. If you have initialized your backend for the very first time, you just have to do a Terraform plan and a Terraform apply. You don't have to run the in it every time again. You just have to check for these files, whether it's existing or not. If it's existing, I'm good. I'll just go ahead and run Terraform plan and Terraform, let's say apply. Now it's telling 
uh, I will create this. Are you sure you want to perform this action? I'll say yes. I'll say enter. And uh, let's see what it does right now. So now Terraform tells, okay, fine. Uh, I will go ahead, create something known as a resource for you. And let's understand a couple of things out here. So I'll say yes, and Terraform will take its own sweet time. I'll go ahead into your Azure portal. Try creating a resource group out here for you as such. It's telling resource group creation after two seconds. Let's go back into the Azure portal. Let's look into the resource groups. Uh, again, will take some time, should take some time to reflect this out because of my browser cache and all lot of things out here. So let's wait for a second. And now I have a Terraform or a demo TFRG that was created via a Terraform template out here as such. Yes, any more questions? Any questions here? Hello. On Terraform plan, Terraform minute and Terraform play. Hello. Yeah, good. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, when we are uh, giving the uh, block, I mean, resource block in Terraform script, uh, is that mm -hmm. means like all the resources are reworked, I mean, there? Um, I'm sorry, can you come again with your question? When you say reworked, I, I didn't get that. Uh, actually, I missed yesterday's class. I was trying to understand uh, when you, okay. uh, I mean, when you gave the resource block under the Azure block, I mean, provider okay. block, does that mean that mm -hmm. it is saying that we will do something with the resources in the resources block? Correct. Because, Correct. Okay. Okay. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. I didn't understand. You just gave resource name. After that, uh, it is automatically clear creating. Uh, that's why I am a little bit confused. Okay. okay. Uh, yes, I gave a resource name. Yes, but at the same time, I also ran my commands, which is init plan and apply. That's when it created it out. So this is your configuration. You're holding the configuration. After that. We have ran these three commands out here uh, in it plan and then apply and that's the reason you have all these things that got created as such out there. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, I, I have another doubt same because see for resource we are saying there is a resource block. There are other okay. blocks also. Uh, there are other blocks also. Yes, there are other blocks also like variable blocks. There are something like that. again. This block is for any resource storage account virtual machine, whatever it is. You can say a resource, the identifier, and the local name of their search. Okay. Yes, any more questions here? I'm sorry, can you come again, please? Yes, it does what if. Correct. It is a what if kind of a thing, yes. Yes, you can do directly Terraform play without the plan, but it's not suggested to do that. It's not a suggested way to do that. We use uh not really uh it doesn't take a lot of time uh it's since from a local machine it's taking so much time but when you are deploying a terraform template via an agent azure devops it the time reduces the amount of time actually reduces out there all right so let me again do terraform plan so i did not change my template nothing there is nothing that changed same resource everything is the same let me run a terraform plan again what do you think the plan should return right now? Yes. Zero changes. Let's check that out. Let's see what really it does here. And let's see uh, what you get out here. And let's check this out. Let's wait for a minute and no changes. Your infrastructure is matching your configuration. And uh, do you also see any change in the file system? You have a JSON file. Very, very, very important. This is called as a Terraform state file. It's called as a Terraform state file out here as such. What do you mean by a state file out here is this? Let's go into the JSON block. It's a JSON file that Terraform has created for you. Let's look at this. It has version, Terraform version, lineage and all that stuff. It's telling mode is managed. It's telling what? Azure RM underscore resource underscore group. And it's telling name is what? RG. 
what name is this local name you have a local name and this local name is pointing to what actual name called demo tfrg it's telling it is a managed resource meaning terraform has created this one out and what really happens out here is this the second time when i'm running a plan terraform doesn't always or terraform doesn't all the way go to the azure portal terraform just goes into your dot tf state file and compares this desired state versus actual state right now without going to the azure portal yet it does a local comparison telling that is your desired state and the actual state matching and this particular state file rate is produced after you do a terraform apply command for the very first time when i did a terraform apply command it went ahead created something known as a terraform state for me terraform state will always and always represent the state of resources that are there in the azure portal so it is nothing but a json structure of the current existing state on the azure portal out here so your terraform state file and the actual state of the resources have a close coupled relationship meaning whatever is there in the azure portal is represented in your terraform tf state and terraform tf state file is created by terraform after you do a terraform apply as in when you do a terraform apply you get this particular state file out here and when you run a sorry when you run a terraform plan right now the plan does a comparison between the tf state here and the re, the desired state out there as such desired state is always and always the state what you write or desired state is always and always the file what you write so now there is a comparison between this and this and it's telling okay fine you know what uh, yes in this particular desired state i see there is this particular azure rm resource with this particular name which is pointing out to this name already exists in your let's say actual state yes so terraform will say very simply that you know what there are no configuration changes it matches don't have to worry about it and that's what it is selling refreshing state so it's going into the state file looking into the resources telling that okay fine the resources are good enough now let's say one thing again very 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 importantly guys terraform expects you all not to change anything in the state file you should not come here and change anything in the state file out here this is a managed file terraform doesn't like you to go ahead and let's say change this out if you do that what you are doing is that you are disturbing the relationship between your state file and the state of the resources if this is disturbed your entire terraform will let's say fail so terraform expects you all not to change this file any change you want to do do it in this file do it in your desired file i will terraform will manage the state file out here don't do anything in the state file as such it should always and always reflect the resources that are there on the azure portal let's see one thing in that case my question is that i'll go here this is a file which i'm not allowed to change i should not change i'll close this i'll come here and i'll change the name of my resource group not as demo tfrg but i'll say dev tfrg it's a different name right now Let's save this out and again let me come down to my powershell let me say cls uh, do i start doing a terraform init right now should i do a terraform init you don't have to do it but you can run one more command called terraform validate this will validate the syntax this is there to validate the syntax in your command also you can do terraform fmt format all it does 
is that it formats your existing file meaning if you have multiple spaces and all it will just eliminate those spaces make sure that the template is in a readable format so terraform validate and terraform fmt are the two commands that i'm introducing fmt is nothing but format just goes into the file understands what are the spaces is it right is it wrong you'll just adjust your spaces out here again optional in nature if you want to let's say understand your syntax is is good go ahead do terraform validate if you want to understand whether the format is good go ahead and run something known as a format command out here now i'll come with terraform plan now my question for everyone is this see i have changed the name of a resource what is the state file has does it has the new resource group or does it has the old resource group it has the old one because on your azure portal also it is demo tfrg and not dev tfrg and by the thumb rule of it i am telling that the state file should always and always reflect what is the state of your resource that is there on the azure portal which means there should be a very tight coupled relationship between these two my question then now is what if i run a terraform plan what should ideally happen here what do you think should ideally happen here create new resource let's try that out let's say terraform plan and uh, now terraform plan is comparing what is there in the desired state versus the actual state in your local machine and in the desired state what you're telling you want a dev tfrg what does the actual state has demo tfrg so it's now comparing these two things out here it's telling comparing these two and let's see what it does what do you think it is doing destroy and then create a replacement what is it going to destroy demo tfrg to what dev tfrg reason being let's come back here i am telling there is a very close relationship between the local name and the actual name this name rg is pointing out to what demo tf rg now what you are doing you are telling it is not this it is dev tf rg so now if you go back here the local name is now changed and now you are telling it is dev tf rg you know terraform tells you okay fine you know what if this is changed i will also have to remap it to dev tf rg out here i don't have an option you are telling that the local name has to be changed to what dev tf rg if this has to be changed what has to be changed the rg names also need to be changed in the azure portal if i want to change the rg what should i do can i change the name of the rg after it's created then if i want to change it if i'm hell bent on changing it what should i do delete and recreate that's what terraform is doing terraform is telling you know what uh, the name needs to be changed so that name needs to be changed in your state file which means i'll also need to change the same thing in your azure portal actual state Terraform always and always.